So Jesus came to fulfill the law means filling it to the full. Imagine you have a half glass of water and you ask the waiter to fill it to the full. This is what Messiah did. He came to increase our knowledge according to the law of Moses. He came to give us a higher understanding of the law of Moses. And, you know, the prophets as well. He, he said, I didn't come to abolish the law or, or the prophets. I came to fulfill it. So you don't need to be a scholar or a theologian. It's not a rocket science to understand. It's, it's very easy and emphatic. In fact, what Jesus said, Yeshua said, that uh, I didn't come to abolish the law. This, this is what it means. It doesn't mean anything else at all. It doesn't mean what some people claim that, oh, uh, we are done with the law and, uh, you know, the church has replaced Israel. And this is false teaching, brothers and sisters. If you hear something like this, you know, you need to close your ears and go yourself and check the scriptures, study them, and, uh, you know, you will find out that uh, Yeshua, he didn't come to annul any laws, uh, but he came to, you know, increase, increase our knowledge, increase uh, the standard of the law, even in a higher, in a higher standard. Uh, so, uh, also what Paul teaches, you know, because Paul had the background of a scholar and was really, really good in teaching, he uh, sometimes is misunderstood by many brothers. Maybe some people think that Paul said that, oh, we're not under the law. But yeah, he, th he said that, but he said under the law. We're not under the law of, uh, you know, of uh, death, but we are under the law of Christ now. Now that we have... Uh, Christ, Christ has uh, sacrificed himself and, you know, he died and resurrected. Now that we have faith in the Messiah, we're not under the curse of law anymore. So this is what law is trying to convey here. It's not trying to say that we are done with the law. He's, uh, we need to understand the context as well. You know, in Paul days, you know, Paul was kind of... Uh, being accused by the Jews that he was not, uh, he was teaching other people not to keep the law, and he was uh, also uh, he was also uh, accused for not, of not keeping the law himself. In fact, he was keeping the law himself. You know, he did all this thing. He was uh, keeping the law of food. He was keeping Shabbat, and he was. Uh, also, I think he was uh, keeping uh, a vow, uh, you know, a vow of the Nazir, which is a vow that has to do with uh, uh, it's a it's a personal it's a personal vow actually that has to do with uh, dedication, you know, dedicating himself to the Lord for a certain period of time, keeping hair, long hair, and. Uh, uh abstaining himself from uh you know wine and uh, all this kind of stuff and then after a while you know he he tells us that i think he went to a certain guy maybe and i'm not sure about that maybe it's menachem who uh, you know told him to clean uh, to cleanse himself you know with us five other people you know so he was keeping the he was perfectly keeping the law but even by keeping the law he was not perfect he was not uh, he would never be uh he, he, he would never be, be pleasing to 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 the lord you know so he said that he, he said that oh even if you keep all the commandments you will never be perfect even if you don't miss any commandment. You will never, uh, you will not satisfy the Lord. The only thing that uh, matters is uh, what the Lord has done for you, not what you do for the Lord. 
what you do for the Lord is uh, actually uh, is coming afterwards as a, uh, as a result of what the Lord did in the, in the cross. So, uh, guys, I really want to encourage you to, to go to the scriptures and uh, just look for yourself. The Messiah is there. Okay, God bless you. Shabbat Shalom.